right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another round of coffee and questions. Hopefully, you got your coffee. And what are we going to talk about today? Let's talk about Harbor Freight's Doyle brand nine and a half inch wire crimping tool. Let me change a picture. We'll get right into the discussion. Okay, so we can start first by talking about price. Fifteen ninety nine less the twenty percent discount if you choose to buy them twelve eighty or twelve seventy nine. And so, what are the pros and cons here? Um, I found them to be good. Uh, the guys out of the club, a couple of people bought these. Now I have, I mean, another set. We'll get to that in a minute, which was you know more expensive. But if you needed a backup pair or a pair of these wire crimping tools. I mean, this is a good choice. It has a lifetime warranty with it. I mean, that's the one big thing. And so the others are, what else, you know, are the pros and the cons here? Well, it's a good starter set of wire crimping tools. I mean, it may not be the professional brand or the best, but they work and they work well. So if you can't afford, I mean, the high dollar tools, I mean, to begin with, there's nothing wrong with this and they work perfectly fine. So it has good leverage, that's a plus. It's got strong jaws, which I really like. And it actually, it crimps the wire, I mean, really well. I mean, when I use them, it's got a nice feel on the handles and that tight pivot point where there's no slack, there's no wobble is a nice added benefit to these. And the handles are dip coated, I mean, so they're not gonna just slide off on you and all that other stuff that you get with some of the cheaper crimping tools. All the way around, I mean, it's a good set. Now, there was a comment in here where in the forum, when I posted this, where somebody made the comment, hey, over time, the cutters on these start to dull, and it kind of makes them where you can't really use them that much anymore. Use a diamond file. You can sharpen them. Um, diamond files are available on Amazon. I'll try to leave you a link below. That's where I got mine. Or you can get them out at the big box stores. They tend to be cheaper online, though. And a diamond file... And all you have to do is just lightly file these and then you'll get that sharpness right back. So that doesn't make them, you know, like a bad pair or something to, you know, complain about. This is a damn good value, I mean, at that price. Now, I'm going to give you a tip here. When you're out there buying these, and I went out with a friend of mine and he picked up a pair, I said, well, hang on. I mean, because I did this with calipers that I bought from there. I mean, take it and open them and close these and make sure that those jaws are lining up. I mean, perfectly fine, those sharp edges. If they're not, put them back, grab another pair, because some of these are kind of tweaked. It doesn't make them, you know, junk, really. I mean, you just have to be careful in your selection of what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to get out of there and you're going to think, you know, you crimp down too hard on something and you, you know, you bent that part of it or something, which isn't the case. You just bought them that way. So make sure you spend the time and play around with them. That's one good tip for you to think about when you're there. Now, personally, I don't have very many Doyle products. I have a couple. I have their lineman's pliers and they're really good. Now, I'm becoming more of a fan, I guess, of Doyle. I mean, as I get to see these out at the club, use them and a couple of things of Doyle's so far that I've purchased. So, um, I think this brand of tools from Harbor Freight, I mean, if you're selective in what you're buying and you take some of the tips, like I said, the alignment and so forth into consideration, I mean, it's a good value. It's a good tool. That's my overall opinion on this. Um, is that how I make my electrical connections? No, but there are times when you can't do it another way and you have to use a crimping tool. So it's nice to have in the toolbox. I know that it's there. You know, if I choose to use them now, I'll discuss with you the pair that I own in a minute, but we're talking about the Doyles. But your question relates to, well, gee, you know, do I do a lot of crimping? Um, no, when I was doing these trailer flips and stuff like that, any wire connections, terminal connections, anything like that, I solder them and then I shrink wrap over the top of them. I mean, for, you know, for me, it's just actually a more professional touch to things. I think the securement all the way around is better. So that's the way that I do it. If you do it differently, drop it in the comment below. But yes, there are situations when you're going to have to crimp something because you're not going to be able to solder or shrink wrap it. Um, what do I think in terms of leverage? Well, the handles have a nice length and a nice feel to them. So that length actually gives you, I think, more than adequate leverage. Uh, that's I don't know specifically what you're asking, but that's the best way I can answer it. Do I live in a climate where I have problems with these things rusting? Um, no, I don't. I live out in desert cities, but what I do when I'm done is I always spray these down with some kind of, or wipe them down with some kind of an oil, I mean, to prevent any future rusting at all. 
So that would be my advice to you. I mean, along with the fact that when you first get them or when I first got, you know, the other pair that we'll talk about, I always oil them. So, you know, I don't go just, you know, you can pull them out and use them, of course, right out of the factory, you know, packaging or whatever. But I always add a little bit of oil to mine anyway, and I keep them clean. What's the biggest plus? Well, the lifetime warranty and the price and uh, just keep your receipt. I mean, just so that you can prove it down the road if there's a problem. But lifetime warranty is great. You screw these up, just go take them back and uh, there you go. You get a new pair. How do these work on cutting insulated versus non-insulated wire? I don't have a problem, you know, with the cutters, uh, you know, when I was testing them out at the club going through insulated or non. I mean, they work perfectly fine. Well, yeah, it does matter. I mean, does it matter, you know, crimping tool? I mean, what you buy, who cares, buy cheap ones? Well, yeah, it does. I'll tell you why. Um, long time back, I mean, I fell into that trap. I just bought a really cheap pair. And I kept thinking all of the connections I was making, uh, they look like crap. I mean, they just look bad all the way around. And then I had a buddy of mine that, and we'll talk about it in a minute, that had a much better quality pair. And he came over and we did the exact same thing. And then I realized, well... It's the crimping tool. I mean, it's just crushing the fitting, I mean, around it, and it makes it look horrible. Whereas the way that these are slotted and so forth, it makes the crimping all the way around just look that much better. It's, that, you know, much more professional looking and probably just all the way around better crimping. Okay, so let's step up into the more professional grade, you know, crimping tools, pliers. And so channel lock. Now, I don't own these. There are three people out at the club that swear by channel lock. And they say they're the best there is out on the market. Well, now you're going to pay more for it because you're paying for better quality. So this is 2886 Ships Prime. I'll leave the link below. I can just tell you uh, without experience that the people out at the club think that these are damn good. And they've added them into their, you know, their toolboxes. But they're professionals. They're either mechanics or electricians, you know, that are in the club. So they want that higher end quality pair. Now, I'll show you the ones that I own and that I bought quite a while back. Give me just a sec. Okay, so the pair that I own are made by Klein Tools. Um, you'll hear me talk a lot of times, depending on the tool, about Klein Tools because I just think they're all the way around a much more superior product. I get more longevity and everything else. Now, I've had my Klein, you know, these terminal uh, connecting crimping tool pliers or whatever you want to call them. I've had it for five, six, seven years now. Um, I don't have a problem with them. They work just as good as the day that I bought them. Like I said, I keep them clean to the drop of oil. I reach for them when I need to make those kinds of connections. And I think that they're just an outstanding pair all the way around. Now, nothing wrong with channel lock. And I'm sure that there are other manufacturers out there. I'm only talking to you about the ones that we discussed in the club or the one that I actually own. These I actually own. I think they're great. They got a nice feel to them. And they've pretty much done anything that I wanted them to do. So it's, uh, you know, it's up to you. Now, if you're just a DIYer, an intermittent user, you know, you can go with these doils. They will work perfectly fine. I've already showed you or told you how to sharpen them. I mean, you know, the cutting part of this, if you need to, the diamond file. I haven't had to do that with my clients yet. Now, there was a time, and the reason why I paid more money is I was doing a lot of electrical work, um, you know, in remodeling and so forth. And so, and I was making lots of connections. I was doing lots of different weird things. And so I wanted a really good solid pair and I went with Klein. Now that was my rationale. And I was using them like almost every day, you know, for a period of months. So, uh, but again, like now I'm not doing it as much. And if I had to do it all over again and I didn't have a pair, I would probably go ahead and buy the Doyles because I'm an intermittent user. So if you're a professional technician, an automotive mechanic, an electrician, anything like that, and you're going to want to pay for that higher quality tool, um, nothing wrong with the clients. The clients are great. If you know of a different one that you think is equal in value and also a great pair, drop in the comment below. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, these are my thoughts on these crimping tools. Uh, like I said, nothing wrong with Doyle. I'm starting to really like the brand for intermittent use and medium duty. You know, if you're heavy duty, then you're going to want to pay more. All right, folks, those are my thoughts. That's the discussion. These were the questions and the answers off of the forum. I'm the home handyman. I hope you click subscribe, keep following me, drop me a comment, and I will keep doing the videos if you folks are getting some benefit out of them. Thank you very much and have a great day.